Hello, my awesome and amazing Aries and Leos. It's Melba Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. If you are an Aries dealing with a Leo and or vice versa, Leo dealing with an Aries, then this reading just might be for you. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Aries and Leo viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers and so it is. Got the power of number six and power of number 10 and power of number six. Okay. Looks like we are going to the number 22. Let's see what's going on between these two star signs. Let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And 21. Okay. <clears throat> Trusted ancestors of my Aries and Leo viewers, in regards to this Zodiac connection, please show me what the overall energy is. What do they need to know at this time frame? The Knight of Pentacles. Something in regards, it could be something about money or there's something in the connection that could be moving at a snail's pace right now or something, <clears throat> something has slowed down or somebody is waiting for somebody to come in with, you know, like maybe a higher level of commitment. And I've got crows cocking and hacking out there in uh, outside. So there could be talk or gab or gossiping, whispering going on in regards to this connection. What is the Knight of Pentacles in regards to Aries and Leo? The Seven of Wands. Somebody's uh, chakras or both of you need to balance out your chakras in order for a better wave of energy um, to be uh, balanced here. Somebody could be trying to let their guard down or somebody's afraid of letting their guard down. But no, something about being at peace. Either one of you could do yoga or Pilates. You could be a yoga instructor. You could also do Reiki. Any one of you could do possibly Reiki. Um, you could be a shaman. Somebody's wanting more peace or balance in the connection. Message from the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Wands. It could be that the fire and the passion between the two of you is going to ignite again, especially if certain things have slowed down between the two of you. So whether this is an existing connection right now or a newer connection, it could feel like the, the process is going to pick up a bit, especially over the summertime process, or this is about a passionate new beginning, fresh new start. It could also be about... You, Aries and Leo, let's just say this isn't a romantic connection, but it could be a friendship level and maybe coming together with some fantastic, brilliant, bright ideas uh, to come together in some form of partnership in business. Okay, show me the Ace of Wands, please. Man, those crows outside are just yakking away out there. There's something going on. Message from the Ace of Wands, please. The Eight of Wands. A lot of fiery, passionate energy. Or somebody could feel in this connection that maybe the physical intimacy has slowed down, but it almost feels like somebody's sacral chakra may need to open up. Somebody may not have been so much in their we'll just say their sacral chakra, sexual energy, power. 
So something could be slowing down and then wanting to pick back up or speed, speed up again. This can also be about communication, uh, text messages coming in out of the blue. Maybe if any one of you have been waiting on communication, there could also be manifestation that's going on here. This could also be about taking a trip with one another or somebody is on vacation at this moment. What is this Eight of Wands rapid fire movement or fast forward movement? Page of Pentacles, communication. Somebody's waiting for communication. For some of you, like I said, it could be a business partnership that the two of you are in right now. This is from the Page of Pentacles. Temperance. Something about going with the flow. A lot of, there's that Sagittarius energy. I've got Aries, Leo, Sag. All the fire signs are represented here, but there could be a Sagittarius uh, in the mix of things. Maybe it's a third party, but no, I feel like this is something about a peaceful resolution or a reconciliation or somebody wants to have reconciliation. Leo energy coming in on the bottom of the deck with the strength card. What is temperance in regards to Aries and Leo? They're also saying here, too, there's something in the energy dynamics. I'm, I'm picking up a very cosmic connection um, because the two of you are both fire signs um, with temperance, five of swords. You know, if there has been combative energy or mental, um, a mental battle that's going on, something there's something here about a peaceful resolution. Or somebody could feel stressed or insecure or there could be some form of competition Maybe there's a third party situation going on. Trusted ancestor, show me Aries higher self unto Leo, please. Show me what's up. The queen of swords. Somebody could feel rejected, maybe left out in the cold. Um, sometimes the queen of swords can also represent somebody who is widowed and or divorced or feeling slighted. There could be an air sign involved, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody could uh, have an ex, an ex-wife, an ex-husband, an ex-lover, who knows, that could have, you know, stirred up some trouble or drama before in the past. Message from the Queen of Swords, King of Swords. So there could be a married couple between, you know, between the two of you could be married. Okay. Um, there are some feelings here that could feel uh, like somebody feels shut down or somebody's trying to mentally get through to someone here. It could be you, Aries, and Leo or Leo. You could feel this way towards Aries. So kind of take the roles how they resonate. But Something's kind of shut down or something might have become very routine between the two of you. So I'm picking up that energy dynamic. It's kind of strange, even though the, the queen and the king of swords are, are looking in, kind of looking in each other's direction, but the king of swords is kind of looking downwards and the queen is kind of looking like upwards, like above the head. And it's no coincidence. Look at, I was just talking about the crows. There's a crow over uh, the king of swords. Let's see if there's a crow in here. There's one, but maybe off in the distance. Somebody could be yakking away, maybe talking negatively. There could have been a discussion, an argument. There could be jealousy going on. Somebody's trying to make their point clear, but somebody's not seeing something at face value. What is the King of Swords? The King of Wands. 
There could be a third party going on. Or Aries, maybe you're wanting Leo to take more action or be confident. There could be a butting of the heads right now a little bit. But there is something here about peace or a peaceful resolution. If the two of you might not have been seen eye to eye with one another, a lot of fiery, fiery, fiery passion and energy going on here. What is the King of Wands? The Wheel of Fortune. A positive turn of events or somebody, who knows, maybe somebody here feels like their fate and destiny is somewhere else outside of the connection. So there could be a feeling of uncertainty. There could have been contemplation if there's been a long-term committed partnership or something. There could have been contemplation to get divorced. There could also be cheating going on. Somebody could suspect somebody of cheating. Insecurity. I'm picking up that there's insecurity within this connection somewhere. Somebody's got the insecurity. What is the Wheel of Fortune? The Hermit. A lot of thinking. There's a lot of thinking going on. Thinking about where the connection has been, where it's at in the present moment, and where could it possibly be headed for the future. There could be a Virgo or a Libra involved that could be a third party. Either somebody wants to run away from the connection or there could have been some sharp words, um, tit for tat. Or somebody could have ran away from the connection. Give me another message from the King of Wands. Judgment. There's a judgment call going on. Could be a Scorpio involved. Or somebody's wanting to revitalize a connection here, but have a more peaceful outcome or resolution. What is judgment? The devil. There could be some form of deception that's going on. Or somebody could have an obsession with someone. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could be trying to, I don't know, maybe help somebody out behind the scenes. Picking up on jealousy. Picking up on jealousy, uh, insecurity, communication that hasn't been effective. This is from the Knight of Swords, Page of Cups. There's like some kind of flirtatious energy or somebody wants to apologize in this connection. Leo, strength energy. Somebody wants to apologize maybe for their behavior or their insecurity. Um, Somebody's solar plexus has got to get strengthened again. There's a lot of heavy, there's heavy energy, but there's very powerful energy and transformative energy. And then there's this jealous energy. So it, it like I said, I feel like even with this five of swords, it almost feels like it's a little bit of a tug of war, maybe competition with one another. High priestess, somebody could be an intuitive or something is secretively going on behind the scenes. Six of Pentacles. 
could be a handout of money. Or somebody's trying to help somebody here. But maybe somebody doesn't want to get caught because of jealousy. Message from Leo's higher self unto Aries. The Empress. Maybe you feel, Leo, that your Aries is not giving you enough time, love, energy, or respect. Somebody's wanting recognition here. Message from the Empress. Three of Wands. The ship's coming in. I don't know. I can't help it. Somebody's putting up a fake facade or a false facade, but I don't know. Somebody could be in contemplation of moving on or walking away, <clears throat> maybe to save the peace. If in regards to a business connection, this could be about trying to have a meeting of the minds, especially if you're in business with a friend here, whether that's you, Aries with Leo, or Leo with Aries. Picking up a lot of thinking. Or somebody's trying to avoid the truth or not wanting to express the truth, but then there's peace and balance. If the physical intimacy has died off between the two of you, there could have also been a friends with benefits situation that was going on. But what the interesting thing is, it's like, I don't have like major over the top commitment, but there could be a partnership, but I'm not getting like Ace of Cups, uh, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles type of energy. Definitely picking up insecurity within this connection. Or it's a combative competition. But somebody needs to balance out their root chakra. Picking up root chakra or all seven chakras need to be balanced. Somebody could feel in this connection that somebody is giving somebody else a lot of accolade or recognition and somebody feels like they're not being recognized. So that could be another reason why like Queen of Swords, King of Swords, King of Swords looking in that way, Queen of Swords looking more upwards. Again, not seeing eye to eye or somebody not seeing something from someone's point of view, but yet there is going to be some form of peace coming in. What is the peace? Give me another message from temperance. Plans, two of wands, new arrangements. That's what I'm picking up on. Yeah. The truth, ace of swords, bottom of the deck, either truth exposed or just somebody speaking one's truth. But I feel like somebody is under some mental stress here, maybe because of somebody's jealousy and or insecurities. Or somebody's waiting for somebody to cut off a connection or a relationship in order for somebody to run back. Because somebody could have recognized that somebody here is, quote unquote, the emperor or the empress. They could feel like they might have missed out on an opportunity or they're not, somebody here may not be getting enough spiritual connection with their person. Somebody could think one way, somebody could be more religious and then somebody's more spiritual. There's almost a sense of closed mindedness in some scenarios where somebody's more of a free thinker, more cosmic energy type of thinker, whereas somebody could have been raised in you know a particular religion i'm picking up on and somebody feels like they can't express the, the the somebody could just be into more astrology and somebody just follows more of the ways of certain religious customs and or belief systems 
and somebody feels like they can't open up and express their wisdom, their knowledge, they have to hold back or they, they hold, somebody holds back that they're more cosmically connected or somebody doesn't want to be viewed as weird or strange. A lot of mixed, a lot of mixed energy, like just between these two fire signs, but there is some form of a connection or there's a connection that's been in and out. Definitely could be somebody else behind the scenes. Or somebody's giving more accol accolade or recognition to somebody outside of the connection. But yet somebody's wanting somebody to succeed here. Or somebody has faith and or belief that somebody is going to succeed. But there could be insecurity. But I am definitely picking up like some kind of a, you know, like a, a, a business partnership. There could be a handout of money, but I'm not feeling like this is necessarily in a in an over-the-top deceptive way some situations might be but yeah something about riding the wave there will be a sense of renewed peace though that's going to be coming into the mix or if the physical intimacy has kind of been null and void right now. There's going to be a kind of like a boom, 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 pickup of energy, maybe possibly over the summertime process. Either one of you could just be so focused in on your dreams and your own goals right now that commitment may not exactly be at the forefront, especially if the two of you have been with each other for a while. Maybe it's been a year, maybe it's six months. Somebody could still wonder where the connection is going. If you're going to get to the girlfriend, boyfriend stage, or if it's boyfriend and boyfriend, girlfriend and girlfriend, um, this might even be a long-term connection that could have been anywhere between the last five to 10 years. The two of you have been going back and forth for some of you, but yet I, at the same time, it's like I, it, somebody here, I feel cannot let go of the connection but something about a meeting of the minds or having a deeper understanding or being able to accept one another there's a lot of stubborn energy on both parts because like strong-minded like strong-minded sometimes it could be like my way or the highway type of energy which could set somebody off which could also mean like, I don't know, maybe somebody here is always being a people pleaser, but it could be wearing down on somebody's mental health right now. Or somebody just wants somebody to be more open-minded and not closed-minded. If it's in a business partnership, like there could be ideas that are getting thrown out left and right in order to become successful. And somebody maybe keeps, I don't know, shutting down certain ideas, not wanting to be flexible. So a lot of interesting storylines I'm kind of picking up here. It's like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. However, if, <laughs> You Leos or Aries would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers. You can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, you guys, take care.